The switch and processing the data plane is also optimized by hardware. And that hardware is called the switching fabric. And the goal of the switching fabric is very simple, to move uh, packets from the input port to the output port. And the key design metric is the switching rate. Now, one thing that one needs to be very careful designing a router is if okay, we design such that there are end ports uh, and input ports possible and the line speed of each input port is R, then you want to make sure that the switching fabric can switch at this rate, R multiply N. All right, so what we're seeing here are three different architectures of uh, switching fabric. Memory is generation number one, bus number two, and the modern ones, generation three, the crossbar architecture. Now let's go over them uh, one by one. So first generation, switching via memory. Okay. The architecture of a router of the switching fabric is very much like a traditional computer, where we have a CPU, memory, and then hard disk. So we fetch data from the hard disk to the memory first before we fetch the data from the memory to the register, and therefore we fire the computation circuitry. So memory there is the middle point. Before data can go anywhere, you get it from the source okay, before you push it out. So similarly here, we do have packet in the input port and we want to push it to the output port. The packet is going to be copied to the system memory here in the middle, okay, like this, through the system bus. Okay. And then from the memory, copy them to the output port's memory. Okay. So the speed of moving the packets is limited pretty much by the memory here okay the speed to write and the speed to read now this is usually very slow and the cost of the memory is also high and not to mention this we send packets into the memory like this and we also fetch packets out from the memory like this so you see each packet has two bus crossings if the bus speed is R, the throughput can only be this much at best. If this is not limiting memory's read write access time. Therefore, in the second architecture, that's bypassed the memory entirely, so that's remove the memory part, there's no middle point, packet is copied straight from the input port memory to the output port memory, like this. And as a result, we only have, what, one bus crossing. That is saying the bus rate is exactly the throughput. And this is actually in the Cisco 5600 uh, 5, series. Having a 32 gigabits per second bus guarantees also 32 gigabits per second switching rate. Now, the only limitation is just the bus. Okay, there could be bus contention depending on how many yeah, input ports you have and how busy they are. Last architecture is this interconnection network or the crossbar network. The architecture looks like this. So the input ports uh, are connected to a network and then output ports are exit points of the network. So you see, you see potentially this. Yeah, these red lines are buses, okay? Bus speed can still be R, all right? But you know what? Data can potentially flow here, this pass, this pass. So you get three flows that can potentially go through the interconnect network in parallel. Although the bus speed is R, but you get triple amount of data through. So there's a certain degree of uh, parallelism there we could exploit. Okay, so this design here, the crossbar design, or sometimes called the grid design. Okay, it could be two-dimensional grid, but nowadays three-dimensional grids uh, is also quite common. Okay, so we use an interconnected network there to try to speed up, add some degree of parallelism. Now, this design is actually not new. When people are designing computers where there are multiple processors, the multiprocessor computers, people have already thought about using this architecture to ensure the processors are well connected so that we could distribute uh, computation tasks efficiently. We allow fast passing of the data from one processor to another so they can compute, uh, continue the computation uh, from another computer. OK, 
get a, another a processor. Right? The last part of uh, doing interconnected network architecture is this. We'll have to cut the bigger datagram into smaller cells okay, and fixed size cells. It's very important it's fixed size. So yeah, the transmission of these cells uh, is very fine grain and easy to control because it's fixed. The time duration, very stable, very fixed. So that avoids also contention on such an interconnection network. And therefore, Cisco 12000 is one such a switching fabric-based router. It can switch about twice okay, uh, amount of uh, data than the bus-based switch.